All right, guys, here's a basic movement from an arm drag. As you move the arm in, right, and I get this opening here where there's a space between his rib cage and his arm, I'm gonna shoot up underneath to the back of his head. So I'm gonna extend my arm out and grab the back of his head. As I do that, I'm gonna pull his head down and I'm gonna push his arm and move it to the back side of my left rib cage here as I get into a clench and I'm gonna apply pressure until he taps. All right? Yeah. Okay, we'll try it the other side here. Okay, so, so you can see from here, I do an arm drag, I get this opening, I shoot up underneath, and I pull the pressure down on this arm. Sort of like we're doing an arm bar when you're in the mount, right? This position here, it's very similar. Hand comes up, I grab it, and I capture it up underneath my rib cage. I bring him down, and then I start applying pressure. Sorry about that. So, that's a basic clinch lock. There's a similar choke out there where once you get that movement here, you're gonna wrap around the head and get into a choke. Uh, in the process of working on that, we found that. Uh, it's actually pretty cool if you just move that arm and then slide his arm back up underneath my rib cage in a similar position as if you were doing an arm bar, it becomes a clinch lock or a clinch arm bar. Pretty neat little piece of kit you can throw into your toolbox.